Hey guys, MD Prepper here, yet another review. This time on the High Sierra Soaker uh, backpack slash water bladder. Um, I got this four or five years ago, I guess, probably four or so, better estimate, um, from Walmart as a uh, experiment in a get-home bag uh, to get home from my uh, place of work, I guess, business. I was a resident then, so place of slavery, I don't know. Slave labor, the salt mines, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is a great little bag. I uh, like it a lot. Uh, this was originally my concept for a get-home bag for when I was about 15, 16 miles from home. Um, I don't actually use this currently because uh, the dynamics of that have changed. Uh, I live about six miles from work these days, so I've gone for something a little simpler, lighter these days because the uh, dynamics of my uh, current path home are a uh, lot simpler, a lot more forgiving, a lot more options to stop out on the way. We'll talk about that after a little while. But uh, again, do you need to carry your giant 60 pound bug out into the world kit with you in your car all the time? You may if you want to. Um, I live local, I live close. It's not like I'm in major metropolitan areas commuting 30, 40 miles a day. Um, Again, the longest I've had commute in the last few years is 15 miles, 16 miles uh, in most of my locations. And uh, the change here recently lends to something a little simpler. We'll go over that bug out slash get home bag here later at some point. Again, I don't have this loaded out with gear because this is not a gear slash uh, get home kit review. I may do that later if you guys want me to. If you ask me for one, I will certainly re-equip this thing with my old stuff, show you what I've got, and do my current get home bag at some later date. But uh, this bag I got at Walmart. Uh, looked online tonight because I couldn't remember how much I paid for it exactly. Uh, some of the websites I found had this thing listed for 40 bucks. Uh, I didn't pay anywhere near that. I can't remember exactly what I paid but it was not $40. It was maybe 20 25 tops. Uh, back when I was resident I didn't have that kind of cash to drop 40 bucks in a small pack. Uh, so, I couldn't have paid more than $25 for this thing. It did come in a lot of different colors, brighter type things, yellows and reds and all that. Uh, this is more of a gray, brown, silver style, which I thought was a little more incognito, a little more basic. Uh, this is basically a uh, backpack style, mini backpack for uh, bicycling, I believe, and cycling type things. Uh, works well, though, as a uh, get-home bag or a, a little mini survival kit uh, type bag. Uh, Let's see. Uh, most of it's mesh. It has a lot of mesh attachments, inner and outer, to uh, lower weight. We'll go over the outside first. Um, you got a pouch here. Pretty big pouch, actually. It stretches out. It's got some uh, elastic here, so you can fit a lot of stuff in it. Man, you can fit a lot in this little tiny little pouch if you try to. I uh, had a Mylar bag in there, a knife, that sort of thing. You've got a little carabiner here attached, uh, which at the time I was attaching a uh, water bottle to uh, as additional water carry. Uh, you got a little attachment down here. Uh, don't know if I'd put a whole lot of weight on this, just the way it's attached in, but uh, I had like a little whistle, a compass, that sort of thing there. Just something small. Uh, other than this little small pouch, you got a bigger pouch here. We'll go into it in a minute. Uh, outside of the pack, um, you've got, let's flip this bad boy over, this mesh. It's called the High Sierra Air Mesh Pack, uh, and back, rather. Uh, it's very padded, but it has a, a mesh overlay on the top. If you can see that there, for air cooling. So when you've got this thing cinched around you, it's not going to sweat you to death. Not that it's real wide anyway. This is going to fit in the middle part of your back anyway. But uh, it's incredibly comfortable. No matter how much weight I put in this thing, you can carry it all bloody day. You've got your shoulder straps here and here. Uh, you have got uh, an attachment. Sorry, this thing is wound up right here to attach it across your waist area, mid rift area if you're kind of chunky side, uh, got a bit of a gut, uh, to secure it just for a little bit ease of comfort so it's not entirely over your shoulders. Uh, you got a little other uh, support there. Uh, I don't know if that's necessary with this uh, bag at all because it's going to be so lightweight. Got a little carry handle up here up top. Um, not strong enough to use a drag handle but it'll get the job done I suppose. Um, Again, more for just picking up carrying by hand if you're carrying other things, that sort of stuff. If you're dipping this into a pond or something to refill. Uh, not that I would recommend dipping the whole thing down, but hey, it'll get the job done. Uh, you got your drinking tube 
right here. Uh, it's got your standard little bike guard that you see in your camelbacks and all that. You bite down on it to open it up, uh, keeps it from getting contaminated. That works real well. Uh, the tube is, of course, covered in a little neoprene style here for the length of it until it gets back into the pouch, uh, primarily to uh, prevent freezing that sort of stuff in uh, cold weather and, of course, protect the uh, plastic tube here uh, from getting scarred and cracked and bent and stabbed and jabbed with uh, limbs and twigs, that sort of thing. That works just fine. Uh, you've got an attachment point here to uh, keep this tube held down here against your side. You've got another attachment, little point here, loose, to also keep it pushed down as it rolls over your shoulder. Uh, it is interchangeable, left and right side. Uh, it comes, at least mine did, on the right side, which works just fine. I like that a lot. I'm right-handed, so uh, picking this tube up, picking it up to my mouth, works great. Uh, no problems there. Works just fine. Now, onto the pouch itself. Uh, like I said, small ma uh, mesh pouch here. Works really well. You've got two zippers uh, for opening this thing. On the inside, we're going to lay it open. You've got an area here you can put a lot of stuff. Uh, you just got to be careful just not open it and have things fall out. You can put water purification tabs in here, though I prefer it inside this little mesh pouch. Uh, paracord, uh, crackers, granola bars, uh, small knife, uh, flashlight, whatever the heck you want, it's going to fit in here fairly well. Again, not very deep. Um, it's maybe two and a half, three inches deep. Uh, it'll stretch a little bit with this outer patch and all and with your uh, water bladder on the other side, but uh, this will hold a fair amount of gear. We'll get the job done. Now, one additional thing of this that I don't have much use for, but it's here. You've got a zipper here on the bottom, and uh, you can roll out a little mesh pouch here that, as best I can figure, is meant to uh, hold your uh, bicycle helmet, something like that. Uh, I don't see a whole lot of uses for this. I haven't cut it out or anything because it doesn't take up a whole lot of space squished up in the bottom, but uh, again, best I can figure, this is a bicycle helmet. you got little clasps up here. You can attach it to. I'm not going to attach it right now, but just show you. It'll attach like that. Now, you can't carry a whole lot of basic gear in this just because of the way it's shaped. Uh, you need something that's going to fill out this space like a uh, bicycle helmet, something like that, that'll hold it in place. Uh, now, of course, this is going to restrict your access to your pouches and all that on the other side. Uh, you may have some use for this. I, I just don't. Um, it's fine. Not a problem. Uh, takes up a very little bit of space here in the inside of the pouch where this thing opens up to is down here and uh, one good thing it's in a little nylon style pouch so the mesh doesn't get caught up in whatever the heck you've got in here so it gets out of the way it squishes down real tight real small you probably can't see that but uh, you put anything in here that goes down to just about nothing now you got this little mesh pouch here uh, this is where I tend to keep my smaller little items I'm worried about falling out of the top or on the sides anything like that uh, I used to keep a couple of water purification tabs in there little bottles, uh, bandana in here, folding knife and all that, uh, though the knives and pointier objects are probably better on this side, uh, just so you don't have to worry about puncturing your water bladder. You've got a water bladder in here, if you can see that, um, outdoor products, uh, get that from Walmart for cheap, about 10 bucks for the bladder, it comes with the bladder, the whole kit does, but you can get replacement bladders for about 10 bucks. Uh, the tube goes all the way down here to the base, which I really can't show you in this video, so that basically you can get every little drop of water in this water bladder out. Um, of course, they don't recommend the water be frozen or anything like that or overly heated when it's in there. Um, works real well, uh, not having major problems with it. Uh, it has a two liter capacity. Uh, you say, well, one gallon per person per day. Yeah, whatever. Uh, this is a get home bag. Uh, I'm gonna two liters of water is a lot, and I like I said I attached a, a water bottle about a half a liter water bottle on the outside just for additional uh, one of those little filtration bottles something like that. Uh, this works just fine. Um, you've got your opening here to put water in right there. It's of course uh, empty and dry right now. Uh, if you want to, if it's a hot day, you can put ice cubes down in this thing, anything like that, just to chill the water out if that's what you want. Uh, seal it back up. Seals real nice. Uh, had no leakages, anything like that. Now, of course, if you're doing this in a uh, bug out get home bag, uh, it's going to take you a while to get home. You're going to have to refill this thing, probably, unless you're making real good time. Uh, that's why I had some water purification tablets in this, one of those water purification bottles, but uh, the tabs were primarily for uh, the inside of this. Once I filled it up with dirty water, uh, I had a bandana which I could put over the top 
so that I could basically pre-filter the water, get any kind of particulate out of it to get uh, relatively clean yet not drinkable water. Put my water purification tabs in, slosh the bad boy up, and move on with my day. Uh, put this pack on and walk, and uh, half an hour or so, this thing is going to be drinkable again. Uh, again, I would probably recommend draining the thing dry with water. Yeah, better to be overhydrated than under uh, before I moved on, uh, if I was going to refill this up. Uh, again, two liter capacity. Perfectly decent for a get-home kit. Uh, again, you don't want to carry too much water around. Uh, it's just heavy. Uh, this thing is great. Uh, very durable. Can't say enough good things about it for the 20 to 25 bucks I paid for it. Again, I don't know if the website I just checked out was ridiculously expensive and they're gouging you for $40 a piece. Uh, would I pay $40 for this? If I had to, but uh, I don't know. Probably not. Uh, it's a good bag. It's very lightweight. Very easy to use. Um, a good little get home kit. Now you might ask why in the heck did I stop carrying this thing if I like it so much? Well, I don't think I need that much water to get home these days. Only traveling five to six miles to get home, uh, I don't need to continue trekking and wonder where in the heck there's a water source. Uh, my previous placements, other places I lived and worked and went through training, um, it was questionable where you could refill your water supply. Uh, so two liters plus an extra half a liter here on the bottle hanging off the backside was going to probably be enough to get me 15-16 miles, I would assume, uh, unless I'm extremely hot temperatures. Uh, my current situation, I just don't need this right now. I've just got a, a shoulder bag that I'll show you later uh, that gets the job done. Uh, my current situation, um, it's about five miles home, maybe six tops, on country roads where I know a lot of the folks along that road. Uh, about uh, two miles from my hospital, give or take, uh, no more than that, there's a convenience store that I know everybody at. Absolutely know every attendant that there is. Um, see them all the time. Stop in there in the mornings a lot, stop in there in the evenings, midday sometimes if I have to run home. Um, I'm not having any trouble if I need to stop in the winter and get warmed up in that place if they're still open. Now, biggest benefit I've got is about three and a half miles from work, give or take, or two and a half at the most miles from home, is a, a little medical facility that I am actually the only physician who provides coverage for. So everybody there knows me. I know the owner very well. She's a good friend of mine. Um, they're a little bit of a wilderness type setting. They're on 15 acres. They've got wildlife. They've got a little stream and a pond full of fish, that sort of thing. Everybody there knows me. So if I have to stop in the middle of the winter, something like that, with wintertime coming up, and reheat and rearm, uh, refresh myself, you know, get ready for the final little march home, or potentially on the other way, uh, if vehicles aren't working, that sort of thing, uh, in the SHTF, I've got to get to work somehow, I can stop there. Uh, nobody's going to bother me. Nobody's going to care. They're going to be happy to see me, actually, because I can check in and uh, take care of the patients there. You know, calm everybody down, change beds, whatever we need to do. Um, so, again, even if the uh, night staff, if I was going in the middle of the night, I don't know the night staff there, but I know every single one of the patients, uh, and every single one of the patients knows me. Uh, I'm going to get in through the gates of this place. Yeah, fine. Nobody's going to care if I decide to uh, steal a little water from the uh, faucet or the stream, frankly. Uh, I'm going to take some water from your stream. No, they're not going to care. Uh, they know me. The owner knows me. Not a big deal. So the dynamics of my uh, get-home bag have changed drastically in the last year and a half. But uh, this is a great little bag. I highly recommend it. It's not big enough for a 72-hour kit by any means. But uh, if you've got a small child, something like that, you need a little kit, this would do. And again, this is primarily a uh, get-home bag or a light-duty kit. If you're just going to go out for a day hike, two liters of water with all your gear in here, you're good to go. This will hold everything you need it to, uh, maybe a little more. Um, I tend to be a little overzealous in what I uh, stack with, uh, you know, the whole one is none, two is one philosophy. So I'll have two ways to start fires, a lighter and a uh, magnesium fire starter slash uh, ferrocenium rod, that sort of stuff, you know, two different light sources for flashlights and all that. Uh, again, very good. High Sierra Soaker is what it's called. There's your High Sierra. Um, again, look around. I would say shop at Walmart, somewhere like that. Wallet World has good prices on these. Uh, like I said, 20, 25 bucks. A good addition. Uh, doesn't fit all your needs, but um, if you're close to home, want something around light in your car, doesn't take a lot of space, it does the job. Thanks, guys. MD Prepper out.